Okay, so we can finally release these guys. Oh, damn. No, go away. I'm trying to... I'm trying to take a picture. Go away. Ceratosaurus must live. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Secrets of Dr. Wu. Now, we've gotten a lot of work done since the last time you guys saw me do anything here, but it was basically just the missions and, you know, the Raptor DLC that I put all those guys in the paddock over here. But yeah, Dr. Wu, this is what he had us do, guys. He told us to create a bunch of different herbivores, and then we were supposed to release Velociraptors and a Baryonyx on them. And, you know, all the other people were like, ah, oh, that, that, that doesn't sound like a very good idea, and it wasn't. A lot of dinosaurs died, but Wu got his research done, and we learned something very, very important and very weird, too. So it actually, it turns out that where we are right now on Site C is not where Dr. Wu wants to do his hybrid research. Or may, maybe not hybrid research, but hybrid development. This is where he actually has sent us to next. Uh, where do we go to the islands? This is Isla Morta, Site C. He opened up this for us, the Takanyo Research Facility. The existence of Isla Takanyo's mysterious research facility is known only to those who have entered, who have earned the trust of Dr. Henry Wu. The activities at this location are a carefully guarded secret. And guys, we're gonna go there and, uh, all right, so let's see what this is all about. This is where I will elevate my research to the next level. Do well for me, and I will remember your contributions and reward you for them. Okay. What is this, Site D? <laughs> so, I suspect that things are happening that I don't know about. Things that should concern me. Good thing I don't much care. <laughs> However, a favor, if you please. If there's any chance that I could get, you know, eaten, I'd appreciate a heads up. Before the heads off, okay? Huh? Ooh. It's just you and me now. I hope you're ready to start because I've got work for you. So our very first mission, <laughs> I'm excited. Our very first mission is going to be the Ankyloticus genome. Oh my God. Yes, this is good. As anticipated. Let's start, shall we? I'll skip the formalities and get right to it. I need you to research a hybrid named Ankyloticus. Create it and then get it out into an enclosure. Once you've done that, we'll move on to the next step. Time is wasting. A new hybrid, is it? Great! And I really hope Dr. Wu is gonna give us access to these babies. Think of the exposure. Think of the money. Oh, it's always the, uh, always the problem with Jurassic Park. You always think about whether you can do something and not whether you should do something. This is exciting. Okay, so our first, like, what would you call this? Jurassic Park Legends? Jurassic Park Soft Cannon? I don't even know how hard concrete this is. It is a legitimate hybrid in the Jurassic World Evolution timeline, but what does that mean? Is like, by the way, how much did that cost? Okay, we, we still got 4.6 mil. Are people going to come here? Like, I'm so... I, don't, I have no idea what to expect. I purposely did not watch any Secrets of Dr. Wu videos by any of the people that I normally do for Jurassic World Evolution to keep this a secret to myself. Now we've got like Wu telling me to make these monsters. <laughs> it's This is very uh, Jurassic Park animated series, chaos effect, uh, comic book level right here. All right, so let's go ahead and view the research that we need to do. Genetic research, hybrid projects, and what did he call it? Ankyloticus. The Ankyloticus combines genomes from multiple dinosaurs and modern species, primarily Ankylosaurus and Diplodocus. 
All right, we're going to research it. And there's more. Stegoceratops, which was supposed to be in Jurassic World. The Spinoraptor, which is like the thing I'm really looking forward to. Indominus Rex Camouflage. So we got to finish Mission 3 and then our Indominus will be able to camouflage. Okay, that's something. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really interesting, man. Now, I hope it's not going to be too dark here because... This is, uh, this is, this looks a lot like Isla Pena. Okay, and Kyloticus genome is, uh, complete, so I guess we should go ahead and incubate one. Now this is the progress I expected. Alright. That's expensive. Don't let me down, dinosaur. Look cool, be cool, and, uh, maybe the next few won't be so expensive. So, in the meantime, to get people to actually enjoy this Jurassic World, I guess what I'm going to have to do is have some sort of other dinosaurs in there, you know, in here for them to see, because I'm losing money right now. So just throw a Struthiomimus out there. C come watch my one dinosaur and then my monster creations. <laughs> I did make a bar. People love their alcohol, so uh, there. That should be good enough. Thing's got a gnarly looking skull. Ooh, and look at all the spikes all over its body. Ah, I just I wish it was brighter outside so we could see it a little better. Ankyloticus. Or Ankyloticus. However you say it. Now is this guy prone to like disease and rashes or something because he's not natural? Ooh. Our first hybrid for Dr. Wright. I'll the list of dinosaurs that I want introduced into the same enclosure as the Anguilonicus. These are very specific requirements, so please follow them to the letter. Okay. Okay, so now that it's a little bit brighter, we can see this guy a little better. It looks like a cool design to me. I don't... To be completely fair... I don't really think it's the coolest looking dinosaur, or hybrid for that matter, in the game. It's probably my least favorite, but there are more to come. So, one of the things Dr. Wu wants us to do for some reason is just incubate these specific species and put them all in the same enclosure. I don't really know why, but I'm sure at one point in time, they're going to fight each other. <laughs> Especially with carnivores getting involved, which is something that Wu most definitely likes to do. Okay, so we can finally release these guys and get on with the next missions. Oh, got some fossils in too. We'll check those out in a second, but honestly, right now, we just gotta work on finishing this. It takes this game forever to switch back to I guess you would call it daytime mode, <laughs> but it's just so dark in my opinion when you get to the night stuff. God, that's really cool. That is a great looking design. All right, so when all three of the Brax are released, we should be good. Now that really is beautiful. When you've got the dinosaurs in the bright sunlight on Takanyo or Matt and Saros, maybe even Isla Sorna in the game, and it's just, Oh, it's just looking so good when you can see everything clearly. Okay, so Dr. Wu, out of curiosity, what are you going to have us do now? Now that we've got all these dinosaurs that you wanted us to clone on, this isn't Site C, uh, your Tecano Island, whatever you want to call that, what is the mission with this guy? What is the purpose of the Ankyloticus? Can't get over how many spikes and stuff he's got. Look at the teeth, too. It's, a, it's an alright design, it's just, compared to everything else, I really do think this is my least favorite. And when you compare it to something like Chaos Effect, the Amarga Spinus, which I actually think is way cooler, uh, you know, th this guy doesn't really, I think, hold much of a candle to it. Now that we've got a good distribution of animals, I want to get a photographic record of how they interact with one another. Be sure to get me images of the Ankylodicus. Who said science couldn't be sexy, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
I, I'm not. I don't follow that, Gavit. <laughs> All right. So he wants to get a photo of the Ankylodocus drinking, and I, we kind of have to uh, wait for it to get near water, I guess. No, go away. I'm trying to. I'm trying to take a picture. Go away. Oh my god, really? Uh, no! Yeah, at least got a little bit of money. Hurry up and drink, you... There, it's drinking. Disease? Receiving reports of an unknown disease afflicting at least one enclosure. Of course, it has to be unknown. Has been infected. Without a cure, our only option is to move the dinosaur to another of my facilities. We don't have a lot of time. Wait, what? If with any chance of treating the specimen, you'll need to transport it off island and quickly. Oh, okay. So, does that mean all the other dinosaurs are doomed to die, though? I don't under unknown disease and I can't research anything. Genetic fossils, paleo, blah blah blah. Medical treatment. Foot and mouth disease. What? You're about to send this Ankyloticus away. Yeah. Okay, that better not like destroy the whole mission. It said loan instead of sell. So I guess we're sending this dinosaur away to God knows what fate. <laughs> all my other dinosaurs are sick though. What am I supposed to do about all of them? Oh, it interestingly only affected the Dr. Wu animals. So these, all these other guys are pretty good. Huh. We need to prepare the cure. An outbreak could be catastrophic. Uh, we have an outbreak, Wu. Wait while the disease is identified. Okay, so are there... Their health is already at 70 on the Brax. So we're probably going to have casualties in Jurassic World. But you know what? I guess that's fine. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Do we have any work to do while we're waiting? Yeah, we'll go ahead and send those guys out to fix that. Uh, how quickly are they dying? 66%. Okay, so... This cannot go any quicker. There, I, I really, I guess we're gonna have some dead dinosaurs in the park. Ah, what a shame. One really weird thing about Jurassic World Evolution. The missions are so bizarre. I don't understand most of the time, like, why they want you to do a certain thing, especially when it comes to like, oh, watch your dinosaurs suffer from an unknown disease that we must try to find I don't know it, it really I get the dinosaurs attacking each other but this is one of those things where it's like this could potentially like ruin the whole mission I get challenged but this is a little overkill <laughs> bring the ankyloticus back the threat is still real however so proceed with caution okay well we're bringing the dinosaur back even though these animals were extinct before my research, it's still not enough to bring them back if we can't keep them alive. You'll need to help with the cure. I've put the parameters of what's needed in the files. The files? What, the engine files? Research? Oh, come on. Go to research. Medical treatment. It is that foot and mouth disease. Two minutes remaining. These animals are going to die. Okay, less than a minute remaining. I'm going to go ahead and, oops. I'm going to go ahead and drive the vehicle into the damn enclosure just to make sure that we've got a head start. Cause I'm, I'm gonna have to shoot like nearly everything in the paddock. Finally. We can't let this dinosaur die or my research dies with it. Understood? I'm, I'm trying, Woo. 
I'm shooting everything I can. Okay, so we got that one to live. Get some other guys in here. This is not gonna be easy. Medicate him, medicate him. And you need to medicate a couple of them as well. Uh, this and this. And no, 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 no. You are not returning anywhere. Okay, we can save as many of these as okay Come on Okay, we still got a few that are sick. I Just know that something's gonna die Okay One more one more one more just one dino left Don't die on me It's the this guy No one has been medicating that animal. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was a close call. Oh man, I thought for sure one of them was gonna die. Okay, so we got mission one done. Improved lawyers? Okay. Well done. However, this was no random outbreak. Instead, I believe our facility was hit deliberately. What? Which troubles me, because only you and I should know about the true objectives of this place. And the sabotage, this disease, was introduced at the embryo stage. Ooh. Whoever they are, they are trying to take us down right at the beginning. What did I miss? Nothing you couldn't handle by the looks of it. So we're talking about bioweaponization of engines, dinosaurs. They're, they're deliberately trying to kill them through disease at an embryonic level. What is going on here? This is very interesting now. Now I'm interested. I need another hybrid, which means you have another opportunity to prove yourself. Stegoceratops, absolutely. Let's make it happen. We got to research it first, don't we? Let's see. This is my definition of TV. I call you respond. Perfect. Hey man, whatever gets more cool shit. I don't care. Let me see if I can guess the dinosaurs Dr. Wu used for this hybrid. Oh, shut up. So, as soon as this guy's done, I'm very interested to see what this one is going to look like in the park, especially uh, it's probably going to take forever to incubate, but Stegoceratops genome. Where is it? There it is. See it. Let's see. Come on, please incubate quickly. Can I quick make this faster, by the way? Hatchery capacity, incubation speed. And you know what? I'm gonna do it again. Please make it quick. Well, now that all that craziness is done, I do. I'm curious to see if we're gonna have to move the Stegoceratops out of the enclosure and maybe put it in something else. It doesn't look like we have a lot of room on this island, but. I could be very wrong. Let's see. We've got just this. I mean, honestly, all I could really do is build out here and somehow make it accessible for humans. I'll probably keep the Spinoraptor and Indoraptor over there, if they even make us do an Indoraptor. I would assume so. Really, it's just 24%. It's coming along. This is a very weird story DLC. We're talking about people trying to sap... It doesn't even sound like... You know, if they're doing it at the embryonic stage, wouldn't that mean it's someone inside of Injun? You know, I know Biosyn is mentioned in some of the files for Jurassic World Evolution, which has led a lot of people to assume that Biosyn might pop up somewhere else down the line because we haven't really heard of that company since the original movie. Technically, we heard about it in Jurassic Park, the game, I believe, but I mean, we haven't heard it spoken aloud really ever. And the fact that it's written down inside of those files that Dr. Dua and Dr. Wu were, you know, discussing about 
is very intriguing. Are they gearing it up for a return of sorts for the next film? It's possible, but I don't want to speculate anything about that this early. I just find this story that they've given us for Jurassic World Evolution pretty interesting. Anything involving sabotage of dinosaur designing at an embryonic level, that is weird. That is really, really weird and interesting. All right, let's see what this guy look. Whoa. So it's got like four horns, technically five, I guess. Or more. Damn, why it's gotta be so dark? It looks awesome. Disease? Immediately right out of the gate? What the hell kind of disease does it have? Just look at this animal, would you? Avian so influenza. Impressive. Yeah, it is. Okay, so. I think others will admire our work as much as we do. Let's have our personnel observe the Stegoceratops for a bit. They don't need to know any more than what I'm willing to share, which at this point. We're gonna charge money to see this eventually, right? Uh, asking for a friend. All right. Oh, that was easy. And I think we have to fill up that. And how is the Stegoceratops doing? Oh no, it's a lonely animal. That means it's going to want to break out, which is probably going to be really bad for me. Uh, of course, something like that would happen. Oh, man. Woo. Why, why do you like playing with uh, fire so much? <laughs> it's not good for us. So we just have to, like, wait for about 30 more seconds and the mission should be completed. It is very lonely. It does like to have more than one of its species. But uh, look, I, I... Can we... If we clone another, the population's too high. Uh, maybe we should. Let's at least have one on standby. And in the meantime, I'm actually going to get rid of all of the Struthies. That way we can bring down the population a little bit. As impressive as this animal is, I think we can push the Stegoceratops even more. Huh? Let's create another oh. with further modified gene. Damn it. <laughs> Cancel that order. Between the lines here, but did Dr. Wu just suggest your first attempt at this hybrid was in some way defective? Maybe not. <laughs> but what if he did? So what does he... Create a Stegoceratops defense of at least 110. 120. All right, how expensive? It's a million dollar animal. Just make it. <laughs> Look at that though. That is what I'm talking about. That is worthy of chaos effect. Like this would totally have been something that you would have seen in the Return to Jurassic Park uh, Steve Englehart series. At least the later issues, you know what I mean? There was a watchdog size trike in that, and they don't really explain what it's, you know, what makes it look so different because it only has one horn. Oh, let's wake it up. But this is totally something I could see from the very 1990s inspired Jurassic Park hybrids. Ankyloticus is okay. This, though, this just looks so much more inventive. Okay, our second Stegoceratops is coming out. So I wonder why it wanted, why did Dr. Wu want it to have a higher defense? I mean, I'm assuming he wants to get it to fight something, but uh, let's wait and see. God, I just wish it was brighter outside. Beautiful. This animal is just beautiful. Now, let's put it to the test. No, uh, I thought so. We'll set up a series of challenges to see how it performs. This will be invaluable research into understanding our Stegoceratops. You know what they say about beauty in the eye of the beholder? It's no oil painting, if you ask me. <sighs> so he does want it to fight. Stegoceratops measures up when compared to alpha predators. I've set up a series of confrontations. Combat most dangerous. A series of confrontations? Really? So their comfort does go down quite a bit, I see. So it, 
I didn't realize I would need so many. That looks so stupid. Look, look at their heads, like just going through one another. <laughs> but we do need more than two, which is uh, the game. I don't think it's cheap per se, but it's it's definitely. Come on, game. You you could you could at least let me know. <laughs> Lead modified stegos stegoceratops to victory against the ceratosaurus. All right, so we're gonna have to go assisted in combat. There's the Ceratosaurus coming in. This is so unethical, Wu. No wonder Malcolm thinks so uh, lowly of you. <laughs> oh no! It actually looks like the Chunkingosaurus is about to fight. Oh! Oh, I can't have the Ceratosaurus die. I'm gonna have to watch it kill this guy before it kills... Oh god. What a mess. I'm sorry, other dinosaur, but... The Ceratosaurus must live. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Ooh. So actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, since that Ceratosaurus won't go over and, you know, just straight up fight the Stegoceratops, I just waited for it to fall asleep, and... Oh wait, this isn't gonna work either. I'm gonna need a gate. I basically had to corner them. That way, we could speed it up and just have them fight. But I've gotta get in there as soon as possible. The Ceratosaurus is inbound. And that Stegoceratops is going to be very confused and probably angry all alone in that cage. Alright. Looks like he woke up. Now we wait. This is really crazy. <laughs> like, this is a bizarre mission. Here we go. It looks like there's a storm coming, too. All right, dinosaurs. We've got to assist the Stegoceratops to victory. You guys gonna form up? This is the right Stego, right? Yeah, this is the right animal. Okay, here we go. Lead it to victory. We don't really need to help it, though, do we? At least not yet. Whoa! I think it's gonna kill it pretty easily. Am I even going to have to assist it? Alright, what's gonna happen here? I need to get a better shot. Maybe if I could shoot up there on the horns. Ooh. It's pretty weak. Uh, let's see what happens. I, I think it's dead. Should you be cheering? Spinosaurus specimen arriving soon? Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got a Spinosaurus on the way now, so I've got to trank you. You are the right one, right? Yeah? Jeez. All right. Spinosaurus is here. Here we go. I'm really close. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, I'm in your corner, Stegoceratops. We've got this. Yeah. I, I see the fight has begun. God, this is so close. Oh! 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 Whoa! 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 Don't don't back up too far now. Oh, that looks gnarly. <laughs> that looks so great. Low health already! Wow, the Stegoceratops... Whoa! The thing is a tank! 
Oh, that thing's seriously injured. Uh, I, I, I don't even think it needs any help. Oh, damn. That is brutal. A, a giga, a giga. We've got a giga coming now. Oh boy. Well, this 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 really this is outrageous. The unethical way Doctor Wu goes about treating these animals is not nice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep you in here, buddy. I don't want to. Look at how stressed out this guy is. Oh, and it's it's trying to get out. I can't let you out. You got one more fight. You got one more fight, man. The gig is almost here. You got 94% health. I'll assist you to victory. It's probably not going to be as bad as the Spinosaurus. And even then, you took that thing out with, like, relative ease. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Eeny. Okay. Yep. All right. See, the other Stegoceratops are right here, like right on the outside. It's really not fair that I've got to keep her inside this enclosure. Oh, wow. They brought the Giga here quick. And are we going to immediately have a fight? The Giga looks interested. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Fight number three. This might be the last one unless they make it fight a T-Rex. Or a car car? Would they make it fight a Carcharodontosaurus? I don't know. All right. Already. Already hurting it. All right, let's see it go again. Yep, yep, yep. I don't really... Th Ooh, look at the scarring on the muzzle. Low health immediately. I don't think the Spinosaurus was that weak. And it's dead. It's gonna kill it. Yep. I mean, what do you expect? And I'm going to have to destroy uh, this stuff just so this animal is able to... Oh, what do we got? Oh, that was it. That was the last one. Okay, good. Rapid stress response and hatchery insurance. The first stegoceratops we created would not have survived. Oh, but okay. This animal, this animal was queen. We've <laughs> learned so much about these alpha hybrids. You'll need to be extra vigilant. If word gets out about these animals, they'll be the target of attacks and thieves. Ooh. Every advancement in science comes at a cost. But seeing what the stegoceratops is capable of was worth it. Our first animals wouldn't have survived these face-offs, which makes me think someone continues to work against our agenda. The question is how that someone could interfere with our incubation protocols. We can't afford to let that happen. Wow. A lot of story in this one. I'm making Ooh. you an offer you really shouldn't refuse. <laughs> the Spinoraptor genome. All right, so we are, of course, going to start that, but unfortunately, we won't get to it this episode, guys. Um, I hope you've all had fun. This is very interesting. This is the most fun I've had with Jurassic World Evolution so far, although I will admit this is very bare bones. I would love to see an entire game like this, but you know, I guess we have to live with what we have. Next time, we'll be dealing with a Spinoraptor. Nice to see that you're still on board. Now, as always, this video wouldn't be possible without the support of my awesome game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Their continued support has really been a lot of help to me when making this stuff, and I never want them to ever forget it. So a big thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.